Hi everybody, NPFL Bass Pro Gary Atkins here with your weekly TRS Tackle Tip of the Week. This week I'm going to talk about something that's always part of my arsenal early in the year, and that is a finesse swim bait. It's a great way to put smallmouth and largemouth in the boat early in the year when the fish are just first coming up to them flats looking to spawn, um, and it's a good search bait to find them pods of fish. So today we're going to talk about the rod and reel combination I like to use, then we'll get into the swim baits, jig heads, and some of the areas that I'll target. Um, as far as the rod and reel combination, I've got a G Loomis NRX 7 foot 3 medium action rod with a real fast tip. Great rod for this presentation. Allows me to make long casts, uh, get it to bait away from the boat, and, and make that retrieve back to the boat. Uh, I got it paired up with a Abu Garcia Xenon spinning reel, spooled up with 5 pound braid and an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's just a great combination for this presentation. The light line and the rod allows me to get the bait away from the boat with a real long cast. And that fluorocarbon line doesn't let them see that uh, braided line. Great combination. As far as the swim baits that I like to use, I'm a Kitek guy. I've uh, been using Kitex for years. It's just a great swim bait, especially for this presentation. It's just got a great subtle uh, tail wobble, wobble because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a long cast, let it sink to the bottom, and I'm just going to slow roll that that uh, Kitek back to the boat with just a little twitch of the tip of the rod every so often. And then and them smallmouth will see that. They'll just move in behind it because the water temperature is cold. They're not going to be real aggressive. And they're just going to come in and they're going to suck that little tasty morsel in. And, and you, you can set the hook. And with this rod and reel combination, it allows you to fight them back to the boat losing very few fish. It's just, it's just an all-around good combination. As far as the size of swim baits that I'm going to use, it's usually going to be either going to be a 2.8 Kitek or a 3.3. And um, it's, that's all going to depend on what the fish are feeding on. Because early in the spring when this presentation is actually the best, the smelt that are just getting done up spawning up shallow, um, the fish have been feeding on them most of the winter. So that's what they're keying on is smelt and the emerald shiner. So um, if the smelt are a little bit bigger, I'm going to use the 2.8 uh, or 3.3. 3, 3. And if they're a little smaller, I'm going to use the 2.8. Uh, so it's really important to match the size of the swim bait to the bait fish that they've been feeding on. Um, as far as jig heads, there's a lot of them out there. I prefer a, a, either an owner or um, um, a gamagatsu ball head. Uh, usually it's an eighth ounce. Sometimes I'll go to a three sixteenths, depending on how windy it is. But it's 90% of the time it's going to be a ball head jig. Um, there are some really nice screw lock heads out there now for finesse swim baiting and that'll save you on some baits if you can find them i know the real shot's got some really nice screw lock uh, jig heads in that eighth and three sixteenth size so you should check them out um, they also got a great selection of kitek baits um, i was there the other day and i was amazed at the selection of kiteks that they had as far as the colors that i would use um, on sunny days i like to use the electric shad um, on cloudy days, I typically go with a green pumpkin, a little bit darker color, but the great, great combination of ball head, Kitek, it's a great way to put fish in the boat. If you use promo code GARY6548, um, you can save 10% on all your um, online shopping for apparel, all tackle in the store. And if you, um, for some reason you don't use that promo code right away, you can always go to my, uh, my Facebook or Instagram, check me out. I've always got a promo code uh, posted. It changes every month. So if you don't use this promo code right away, just check me out on Facebook and get the latest um, promo code. Um, it, like I said, it's good for 10% on everything in the store. It, you really need to check out the real shot. It's springtime of the year. They've really got a lot of nice sales going on. They're really pushing out the tackle. So check them out. Do yourself a favor. Fill your tackle box. Save yourself some money. So I hope this tackle tip helps you. And until next week, I hope to see you on the water.